Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're back today with another video. We want to say thank you for joining us and especially if you're a new subscriber, we want to welcome you. You guys know we, we like to get started right away so we're going to do that. We have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and we're going to be doing a Dutch pour using the Amsterdam Titanium White as a base. So let's go ahead and pour that out. We're going to get it blown out as much as we possibly can. We're looking for any uninvited guests while we're doing that. just blew over an uninvited guest so that's good got it off through the blow drying process we're going to take and just make certain that our corners and edges are covered check from the front side here Getting it all in. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so that is the Amsterdam Titanium White and it is our base color for today. Cover this up and put it aside. And then we look for our torch and any uninvited guests. Popping air bubbles to ensure that we have as much as possible a flawless foundation so that our layering colors will be able to smoothly flow across the canvas.
right, here we go. We're going to introduce our colors to the canvas that we'll be using today for our design. And this is a combination of colors that you have seven of them. Wow. We're going to see what happens. We have the golden Prussian blue, Liquitex Basics Chronocrodon Magenta, Artist Lock Metallic Leaf Green, Artist Loft Turquoise, Artist Loft Copper, Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, and Artist Loft Deep Yellow. Okay, so those are our layering colors, and we're going to try to work it on this white base. Let's begin by putting our design together. We'll start here. Squeezing here and over to the edge. And we'll try and come back over here. So, and wraps down like this. All right, that'll be our design. We'll follow that pattern with our other colors. And just a reminder, we do list all of the colors that we use in our designs on the um, each each video in each video but on the section that is the description section of the video you can find these colors listed there you need to reference them hope you are using these colors and going back and trying to See how this color palette works out for you. Love to see some of your work. This is our turquoise. And this is copper. <clears throat> I'm thinking that I want to do this. Put some yellow in here now first. And then we'll put copper. Ooh, that dropped something right on that. Let's see. Let's get that right away. Drop something right into it when I twisted the bottle there. Take that out. All right. Don't want to add to it any un uninvited guests to this at all. Then we'll put the permanent blue violet on top. These are beautiful colors. And I'm going to put just a little bit more yellow on top of that. Should be very very interesting how these colors come together all right tap out these drips and grab our torch so that we can pop the air bubbles here I think we will take just a little bit of the base color and drizzle a little bit of the base along the sides just to make certain that we have enough ability for our paints to flow. This base is a little thinner than I normally make it. We will see how well it works out. 
All right. So we can set that aside now. And we'll take them on, torch him once again. Paint's already moving. So we want to get started. We're going to start here on low in the middle. vibrant, beautiful colors, liking it a lot. So pretty. Wow. I just take and tap these corners just to get color in them. This one we leave open. Really rich, pretty colors. I don't really, well, maybe just a few spots where there appears to be um, air bubbles. Let's see if we can pop just those. Got it? Awesome. Really pretty. Deep rich color. We'll take this corner as well and Fill it in with some of the color that came off of here so that we don't have a white edge. That's very nice. All right, we'll take our swipe stick around. These colors are very, very bright and pretty, just really pretty. I think I will do a little torching here to see if we have more color that can come out of there. Just to, sometimes you torch, you can find color. Don't want to disrupt what already shows nice, nicely, but uh, this is really very, very stunning. Okay, we have our swipe stick. We're going to go around. Remember to do this a few times, but we do it initially as soon as possible so that we can begin to capture the existing design as much as possible, bring it to rest. Paint is moving and it's going to continue to move as long as it has um, the ability to do so. And we're just trying to lessen that ability by wiping underneath so it's not pulling off the top continuously. Okay, we got this under there. Rich, rich, pretty colors. And we will bring you in for a close-up. And here we have our close-up of this very colorful 16 by 20 inch canvas. We have really captured the beauty of all these colors together. All of them can be seen really nice and really loud and clear. They are speaking out very loud and clear. You can see tiny cells here, larger cells, the copper, 
all the yellow. The beauty of these colors coming together really makes for a rainbow of color and shimmer and shine from the metallics. Look at the shine on top of that. Permanent blue violet is so pretty as well. Each of these colors are just amazing. Wow. We have a total of, is it seven? Seven colors in this one, and you can see all of them. The magenta, turquoise, the green, metallic green leaf. So rich and pretty. So this is our colorful Dutch pour on a 20 by 16 by 20 inch canvas. And that's a full view of it. Really, really gorgeous colors. Well, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Until next time, keep loving your art. We'll see you all on our next video upload. If you haven't liked and subscribed, we'd really appreciate you doing that. So go ahead and don't miss out. You want to stay informed. Thank you as always for joining me. Bye now.